In teaching my animal behavior class, I don't just want to highlight what animals do, but I want to use a conceptual framework to explain why animals behave in the way they do. As a biologist, that conceptual framework mainly comes from evolutionary theory. But there's other tools available as well. One of those is game theory. Game theory is a branch of mathematics which gives insight into how animals, including humans, should choose to behave. Let's look at an example initially posed by the philosopher and mathematician Blaise Pascal. Pascal asks the question, should you believe in God? You're free to choose one of two options, to believe in God or to not believe in God. Similarly, there are two possibilities about the existence of God. Either he exists or he does not. This results in a two by two matrix, which game theorists refer to as a payoff matrix. Each cell of the matrix has a certain payoff to you, depending on whether you choose to believe in God or not, and whether he exists or not. The absolute numbers aren't important, just the relative numbers, and that four is the most desirable, highest payoff to you, and one is the least desirable payoff. So what should you do? Game theory clearly offers a solution. Let's simplify the matrix. Let's first assume that God does not exist. In this case, three is greater than two. That is, if God does not exist, the better choice is not to believe, as you won't be spending time in prayer and in church when you could be doing other things. But now let's look at the payoff if God truly does exist. In this case, you receive the highest payoff of four if you believe in him, eternal bliss in heaven, but the lowest possible payoff of one if you don't believe in him when he truly does exist. And being attracted to the four and simultaneously wanting to avoid the worst payoff of one, the choice is clear. A belief in God, according to Pascal in game theory, is a good bet. 